Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and don't forget please to share a nice comment without using bad words or language. Uh, we have a comment in the front of us made by a Muslim, Muhammadan. He said uh, he was upset because I made a video. It says how to prove Muhammad to be a false prophet in less than five minutes. And then he say how to prove in less than five minutes that Jesus is not God. You know, the funny is that while we are debating about your prophet that he is a fraud, we are debating about Jesus if he is God or not. And do you know what does that mean? That's mean that Jesus is so high to the point we are not discussing his sin. We are discussing his holiness. Do you know what I'm saying? When the Christians and Muslims are debating about Jesus is if he is being God or not, we are discussing how much holy he is to the point we think he is God. Right? And the Muslim, he want to prove to us that he is not God, not by saying he is not holy, because even the Quran confirmed that Jesus have no sin in chapter 19, verse number 19. So it's very funny how the argument work for the Muslims. By saying that how to prove in less than five minutes that Jesus is not God, you just admitted that we are debating about the quality of God when we come to Jesus. And we are debating about the quality of a fraud when it's come to Muhammad. And that is a huge difference. Then he says, how ignorant you are, CP. Abraham and his sons was not the first founder of the Kaaba. Stop worshipping Salafist. <laughs> Abdul, listen, the one who says that is your Quran. And as long you are the one who says, uh, don't listen to the Salafist, do you know what even Salafist mean? Salafist mean those who follow Muhammad and the teaching of Muhammad. This is how weird you are. So what do you follow exactly? And can you show me from the Quran who is the one who built the Kaaba beside Abraham? The Quran says it clearly. There's no verses in the Quran speaking about anyone building the Kaaba except Abraham and Ishmael. As simple as that. So if you have any formation to fix the information of your God information, that will be a wonderful information. And I will be waiting for it. Now I know that in Islamic books they say that Allah he sent Adam to India. And yes, he sent down to India. Actually, I saw him there. This is, uh, this is uh, the foot of Adam according to the Muslim website. This is the foot of Adam which have nothing to do with the Muslims. This is a Hindu temple. The Muslim claim that this is where Adam landed in Sri Lanka. Where Adam landed? In Sri Lanka, brother. And this is his foot. This is the footprint measuring 5.7. Look how big the foot of Adam. I wonder what happened to my foot. Because my foot is not even six foot wide. You know, I mean, Adam is a small, his foot is a smaller. By 2.6, 2 believed to be the footprint of Prophet Adam. Why? Because Muhammad, he said, just to show you the, the comedy of Islam, that Adam, he was 60 foot tall. Or sorry, sorry uh, not 60 foot, 60 cubit. Uh, <clears throat> okay. 60 arms. This is your prophet describing Adam. And then where Adam he was sent down, he sent to India. And this is explain a lot of things about Muslims following the Hindu belief, like the black stone, the Kaaba, shaving their head when they go to Hajj, when they go around the Kaaba, the sheet they wore, they wear, and showing one side of their shoulder. That is a Hindu practice. So Adam in Islam is a person came from India, and this is where Islam is coming from. And even the Muslims, they witness for that. And they say that he came specifically from Sri Lanka, not only just from India.
and we can show you tons of uh, stories written by Muslims scholars about Adam he was sent to India actually you can search in in YouTube there is a big shake a claim uh, to be a big shake his name uh, uh, Mufti something Mufti uh, he speak about how Prophet Adam he landed in Sri Lanka and you know I don't, I'm not going to uh, uh, make too much comment about Adam landing in Sri Lanka and Eve she was landing in Yemen which is very funny look like that they, they, they pick up the wrong tickets for the airport and how they met again don't ask me ask Allah uh, but if we uh, if we look at the map I'm just opening the map give me a second just to show you how funny is the fairy tales of Muhammad and his religion this is Sri Lanka let us show it in the screen Sri Lanka is nothing but an island all right and here there's a sea so how Adam he was able to go all the way to Mecca any Muslim can give us an idea remember this is the first man he have no children and his wife she did not even land in Sri Lanka I don't know why I think Allah he used a parachute or something parachute like you know he landed in Sri Lanka the wind pushed Eve to uh, uh, all the way to the other side of the earth and how they met again they call each other they send what's up Viber she texts him she sent him his G GPS location this is the fantasy of Islam Islam is nothing but a collection of fairy tale stupid stories but the only thing the Muslims confirm to us from those stories that Islam routed all the way to India it's a Hindu belief so Prophet Adam peace upon him and I don't know what make him prophet I mean this guy he was just kicked out of heaven how he's a prophet I mean he is so good to the point he been kicked out <laughs> he been kicked out by God and then he's a prophet no problem so Prophet Adam according to Islam he's a prophet and he was kicked out from heaven and he sent down to Sri Lanka who is the Muslim gonna tell me how Prophet Adam was able to swim all the way to the other side here and then he go to Mecca and do you know how far Mecca is brother let us look at the map here just to give you an idea brother this is Sri Lanka and this is Mecca I mean do you see how we close the distance brother and how the guy he crossed the sea somebody saying Hinduism is a truth in this world I don't know what do you mean for me Hinduism is just a cult like any other cult however this is not my topic when we mention Hinduism we are mentioning that Muhammad is uh, all all Muhammad cult believe routed all the way to the Hindus and this is why the Muslims all of them they are consistent and they believe that Adam was an Indian man he came from India so Adam who brought his religion to this area according to Muslims and he is coming from India and not only that Adam he did live in India this is why he went to the Kaaba according to the Muslims 40 times some they say 20 during the 50 time he just go backward forward he did not stay in Mecca however if we go in the silly book which is called the Quran you will find that we there is nowhere it mentions such a story according to the Quran is different story from according to Muslims the Quran says and confirmed that the one who built the Kaaba is Abraham and Ishmael as you see in the front of you right now any Muslim would like to call me and tell me what is the proof that Abraham he built the Kaaba and uh, why Allah he wanted the Kaaba to be there any Muslim is willing to call me what is the purpose of this Kaaba anyway 
which is the word Kaaba I mean it's just a cube in case you do not know I mean God he need a cube and this cube nobody go inside it people go around it okay why are we generating electricity any Muslim please in the chat anyone don't use don't say Muhammad the pig don't say those things I will ban you here we discuss and our discussion should not go that level all right so I don't want to see uh, you know I, I, I say Muhammad is a liar he's a liar but what this is Muhammad the pig what does that mean what, what does that mean exactly I mean why, why what's wrong with you and what's wrong with pigs so you complain about Muslims they hate pigs and you say the pig pigs are useful half of the half of mankind they will die if there's no pigs do you know that all people who have diabetes they su survive because of mr. pig so you should be thankful for pigs speak as a professional adult or leave now who is a Muslim would like to call us and tell us if there is any other reference we can trust about who is the one who built the Kaaba any Muslim and remember we prove Islam to be false in less than five minutes based on this verse why anyone knows why the Quran who remember who how many of you watched the video we made yesterday maybe none I don't know yesterday we showed you verses from the Quran where it says and confirm that Muhammad is the first one to warn about Allah nobody no warner came before Muhammad chapter 28 verse number 46 actually no sorry this is not the one uh, <clears throat> yeah actually this is the one hold on yeah this is the one so uh, Muhammad is the first warner warning who warning the people of Mecca Muhammad is born where in Mecca he live where in Mecca his people were in Mecca his tribe is from where from Mecca wonderful the Quran confirm that there is no warner sent to Mecca ever before you do you see it so how the Quran says that Abraham and Ishmael are the builders of Mecca which means the people of Mecca according to Islam they are descendant from Abraham and they are living there since then the first two people who live in this area according to Islam is Abraham and Ishmael and for sure they came with their women and even Muhammad he confirmed in the hadith as we see in the following the messenger of Allah said indeed Allah has chosen Ishmael from the children of Abraham and he chose him Banu Kinana and Muhammad he claimed to be from Banu Kinana from the children of Ishmael and he chose from Quraysh from Banu Kunana Quraysh is the tribe of Muhammad and he chose Banu Hashim which means children of the family of Hashim from Quraysh which is a man who is from Quraysh his name is Hashim and supposedly he is the grand grandfather of Muhammad so Muhammad is all the way going up to Ishmael according to Muhammad there's no proof this is just a fiction stories so if all of those are children of Ishmael how the Quran says there is no war nor came to the people of Mecca you don't have only one you have many according to this Ishmael was there Abraham was there and Muhammad was there yet the Quran says there is no war nor came to them before you Muhammad is a false prophet Do you see it this is how easy it is because either you accept that the one who built the Kaaba is Abraham as you Muslim claim 
and Ishmael was there too and he's a prophet because remember Muslim they claim that Ishmael was a prophet according to Islam Ishmael is a prophet he is not just a, a, a son of Abraham Hmm? Chapter 19, verse number 54. Do you see it? Do you see it? So Ishmael is a messenger of Allah, and Abraham is a messenger to all of Allah, and both of them they were sent to the Kaaba. Actually, they are the one who built the Kaaba. So how the Quran in different verse claim that before Muhammad no warner came to Mecca that is a clear contradiction do we have any Muslim want to say anything I'm going to open my Skype hoping maybe we can get some Muslims leaving Islam today as usual so my Skype will be open and if you are a Muslim you feel like you have something to say maybe you can convince me to convert to Islam and get the versions I like versions to be honest with you hmm? who is a Muslim would like to call me everything Muhammad he say is a clear evidence that Muhammad is a false prophet and actually I change any Muslim to call me and he chose the topic and he tell me what Muhammad he said and I will show you that from from what he chose for me that Muhammad is a false prophet what do you think look how much I am sure you call me and you say to me hey Christian Prince I'm going to show you something to prove to you that Muhammad is a prophet and from that thing you show me I will show you from the evidence you gave me that Muhammad is a false prophet how about that Any Muslim? I think this is easy. It's a, this is a big challenge, by the way, because I'm saying to you anything, anything, anything. You choose it. You name it. My Skype is open. Same time, when a Muslim he says that Jesus is not God okay where is Jesus now he's in heaven where is all mankind are dead Jesus is not God was Muhammad a sinner man yes he was was Jesus a sinner man no why I saw once a, vid a video of uh, Mimi hijab saying all the prophets are not sinners and this guy, he don't even have little education about his cult. Little. Not even a high school education. This is the Quran speaking about Muhammad. And this is a chapter supposed he was given at the end of the life of Muhammad. Muhammad was a sinner in the past. He was a sinner in the future and he died as a sinner man. And this is the verse in the front of you. And the funny, the Muslim, they say, oh, Christians in certain times, some churches or uh, leaders, Christian leaders, they used to give Christians, rich people who give them money, uh, a paper to forgive their sin if they pay money. That's uh, my friend, that's your prophet. That is the teaching of your prophet, not in our churches. And anyone who do say such a thing, he's a fraud, like your prophet. As you see, your prophet, he have a sin in the past, he have a sin in the future, and he never been holy, as you Muslims claim. But the Quran, chapter 19, verse number 19, says clearly that Jesus is holy. He was holy even before he's born, he's holy after his birth, and he is holy after he go to the heaven. And this is why right now he is in the holy kingdom of God. It's a holy place. 
according to your belief why in Islam if you give Muhammad money Allah forgive your sin and double your reward or what you need to do just give him money and this is all what fraud leaders in any religion do they claim that if you give them money your sin is forgiven it's in front of you My friend, the one who is saying to me, don't say uh, that Hinduism is a cult. Hinduism is a cult and it's very easy to prove it. First of all, you don't have a belief in Hinduism. It's just a philosophy. Secondly, you will see a group of people worshiping a rat and think this is God. Hinduism is an endless, you know, and, uh, you know, religion burning women alive until the Christians, they came to India and they forced the Hindu to stop this practice because the husband, he died, we burn the women alive. And this is not a cult which kind of God he says to you that if you if you if the husband he die we bring the women with him so give me a break and if you don't like to listen to me leave Hinduism is a cult you like it you don't like it it's up to you if not the Christians who went to India and they force to stop a practicing of burning people alive when the husband die until now you will be burning women there shame on you if this is not a cult so what is cult? now we go back to our topic Hindus and Islam there is there is many things they share sexual private parts black stones those are holy stones we make a shape of a private part of a woman a shape of a private part of a man and then we put the flowers and roses about it, you, you would tell me this is philosophy no problem but this is cult this is cult christian burned witches Okay, let me let me tell you about this. First of all, this is coming from the Old Testament teaching. And the reason for that, because those witches, they were deceiving and destroying life of people. So let us say it's a very aggressive punishment for a criminal. But a woman who husband he die, you do what you do to her. She did not do any crime. At least a, a fraud. A witch is a fraud. A witch is a fraud. Somebody claiming that he can give you magic control. People taking your money is, is ripping the mind and destroying families. It's a fraud affecting the, 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 the society. But a woman, her husband, he passed away. Why you want to burn her? What she did? Nothing. <laughs> Do you see the stupidity? Now, who is a Muslim would like to call us and tell us who is the one who built the Kaaba? This is your opinion about burning witches is bad as. But those are criminals. You know, when you when you execute, when when uh, there's a law, it says execute a criminal. He was executed for a crime, not because he was good. And if you know the law, don't why you practice the crime. That woman, she did nothing wrong, and yet you kill her, and you burn her alive. Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Any Muslim would like to call us and tell us who is the one who built the Kaaba?
and please don't send me comments in Skype send your comment in the chat somebody asking why we cannot make donation in YouTube because YouTube is against me no problem uh, but I do my I do what I do it doesn't matter people donate they don't donate I will be here you know <laughs> it doesn't matter YouTube you know they found that my topic supposedly is not a good topic so they took off the donation option from my channel but who care the Lord is my provider it's not YouTube and we do this you know I I, you know, I, I expose Islam long before ever a person gave me a penny as donation. This is something additional to help us. But we do it. There is donations. There is no donations. Who care? Here we go. I'm here every day. Anything change? No. I'm not here for the money of YouTube. Somebody saying uh, a lot of witches were not bad people a lot accused my friend you know uh, people they can use religion to destroy your life I agree you can be an innocent person you did nothing but this is not that this is not the fault of the law is the fault of, of, of those who practice it correct so there's a law and there's people who practice the law and people either they can practice injustice or they can be unjust so you don't blame the unjust of people on the law itself well look like we are going to ban many people here anyone here who don't you know I mean look at those people they try to change my topic someone want to speak against the Catholic well, let me tell you something. If not the Catholic, you will be a slave of Allah and you will be a Abdul since long time ago. So you have to, if you are honest, you have you have to put the, the, the word Catholic in your house and make a frame for it. It is the Catholic who saved your life. If not the crusade, you will be a Abdul praying to the Kaaba, wearing short pants with long beard and the pork is haram it is the Catholic who saved you and I am NOT a Catholic <laughs> this is the truth a bunch of ignorance All right no, we can explain everything to everyone here. You see, I enjoy getting liars busted. I enjoy it. Like you will see somebody saying, the one who we, who created Islam is the Catholic. Nobody fought Islam as the Catholic, you liar. Why you lie? Why you lie? Shame on you. Because you are the sons of the devil. Now, do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Who is the one who built the cube of Allah? Anyone? Who is the one who built the cube of Allah? Why you don't face Ahmed Didat? My friend, if I, I, uh, I wish I keep saying all the Muslims, maybe you will say to me, why you don't face uh, Zakir Naik? At least Ahmed Didat is dead. I keep saying, who want to debate me? <laughs> my, my Skype is open. What I will do? I'll go to house of Didat, say, hey, come and debate me. I mean, people are really silly. What do you, what do you want me to do? Capture Didat, put him in front of me. He says that is debate. Bring him to me. I have my Skype open. I keep saying, who is a Muslim when I call me? And you are asking me why you did not debate did that. What is your brain, my friend? 
at least ask me why you don't debate somebody is alive. Do we have any Muslim want to call us and uh, tell us who is the first one who built the cube of Allah? Anyone? <clears throat> Uh, look what mr. justice he said let me put it for you in the screen so you can you can you can see the advice of uh, of a Muslim Muhammadan where is mr. justice comment <clears throat> I cannot see his comment this uh, the software you see I have two chat running in my side look like it's gone anyway he's advising you uh, to confess my sin uh, my friend, I confess my sin every day. The problem is you who think if you kiss a black stone or if you touch it, your sin is gone. When you are a pagan person, you say stupid things. Uh, somebody saying this. Let me let me get this uh, uh, this one busted. He is obviously he is not a Christian. Look what he said. Why Catholic believe in Mary? False 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 church you stupid idiot you cannot be a christian unless you believe in mary that she is a person who have no sin and she is a pure in no sin in which way she is capable of holding god the messiah you see people who touch the messiah they were healed just by touching him touching his dress mary she have the messiah in her womb and you are saying we should not believe in Mary. Well, what's wrong with Mary? And we believe in her in what? The Catholic, they ask Mary to pray for them. So Mary herself, she prayed to Jesus. You are a coward. And you are mentally ill. No Catholic believe in Mary as God. And we don't. No Protestant, no Catholic, no Orthodox. Get out of here. I don't want you in my channel anymore. You are here just to play division and you are the sons of the devil. The Catholic, they ask Mary to pray for them. You say that Mary, the, the Catholic, they pray the rosary. The rosary is, is written in the Bible, you donkey. You are a donkey. In the best scenario, you are a mule. Because what the Catholic, they say to Mary, is written in the Bible. This is what the angel says to her when they came to her. Peace unto you, shalom unto you, Mary. Blessed you are between the women. This is in the Bible, you donkey. They are just repeating what is in the Bible. <laughs> what a bunch of donkeys. Anyway. Oh, boy. Now. Actually, I take it back. You are not a donkey. Donkey are smart. I remember once we went to the uh, mountains and the villager there, he said, you, you will get lost to come back. So I said, she said, we, how, what we will do? He said, take the donkey with you. I said, what donkey? He said, my donkey. I said, how, how the donkey? He said, when you are done, just let the donkey go and follow him. And honest to God, the donkey, he took us in the shortest way ever in the middle of, I mean, you cannot, there's no way you can find a way to go back. We just follow the donkey. This animal, we, we think he's a stupid, right? The fact he is a lot smarter than a lot of a human. The donkey, he took the shortcut and he took us to the house of the villager as if he is a GBS system. You are not a donkey and you will never be. Now, do we have any Muslim want to answer us about the cube of Allah? You see, the devil try always to make us change our topic. Be aware. Be aware of the devil. Who is the one who built the cube of Allah? Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Anyone? And what is the purpose of the cube of Allah? 
where in the Quran it says that the stone is a, the black stone is holy and why Allah never mentioned that black stone actually you know what let me show you what Arab they used to do <laughs> stones worshippers Do you see what the hadith says, brother? Sahih al Bukhari. This is what this is Sahih al Bukhari. We used to worship stones. And when we find a better stone, then, then the first stone, we would throw the first stone and replace it with the one later. And if we could not get a stone, <laughs> we would collect some earth dirt and bring a sheep. And milk that sheep over it and perform tawaf around it this is your tawaf do you see it you do tawaf around the Kaaba this is nothing but the practice of the Arab pagan long before Muhammad they want to go around it it's a sport let us go around it okay let's go around it brother yeah what are you doing I'm jogging okay and what what is the benefit of jogging Allah will forgive my sin and don't forget to kiss the black stone pagan it is not Allah who built the cube Allah does not exist here we go this is the Arab and this is what they practice prove me wrong and not only that, during the lifetime of Muhammad, Arab used to go around the Kaaba totally naked. Totally what? Naked. What? Yes, brother, because this is a sexual cult. Any Muslim can explain to me what was the practice around the Kaaba, those who they are the children of Ishmael, as you claim. Because you claim that Muhammad is descended from the children of Ishmael. Why the children of Ishmael, they are going around the Kaaba totally naked. Is that a strapteza club? Was, was the cube of Allah a strapteza cube? The man, his uh, private part is like moving right and left. And the women, they are totally naked. And their breast is making like boing, boing, boing. This is during the time life of Muhammad. So what was the religion exist there? And why Muhammad did not oppose it? Oh, Muhammad, he was watching and he's enjoying. Actually, if you have my book, Sex and Allah, you will see after he saw a woman, I mentioned the name of the woman in the book. I don't know how many of you have it. After Muhammad, he saw that woman, he wanted to have her because she was walking around the Kaaba and she was singing a song. Why Allah did not make a verse says, don't go around the Kaaba naked. A Muslim saying to me in Arabic, Allah curse the kuffar, I mean. Well, let me tell you that according to Islam, you are the kuffar. Do you know that Muhammad, he claimed that Ibrahim, he was a Hanif? He was what? He was a Hanif. But do you know what Hanif mean? Hanif mean kafir. The silly Muhammad, he took the word, but you do not know what this word means. Hanif. You Muslim, you say Abraham was Hanif, and you Muslims are Hanif. But Hanif mean a kafir. How in the world you accept to be that? According to your Quran, Abraham was a Hanif. Do you see it? But this is a word mean kafir. 
He's a kafir. <laughs> Muhammad, he, he, you know, he doesn't know what the word mean. So he said it was Hanif. Any Muhammadan? And by the way, look how funny, look how funny even this verse in the Quran. Anyone notice how stupid it is? Anyone notice how stupid this verse is? Quran saying Ibrahim was not a Jew. Do you know even what the word Jew mean? How he can be a Jew? I mean, what's wrong with you? Ibrahim, you are telling them Ibrahim was not a Jew? <laughs> or a Christian? <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. Ibladar and Fitar. Prophet Ibrahim, he was not a Jew. Hey, brother, but the Jews came from his children. How he can be a Jew? Fitar, you get a point either. You get a point. But let me explain to you. Prophet Abraham, he was not a Jew. Like, I get that. But how he will be a Jew anyway, if the Jews came from his children? Do you know what even the word Jew mean? I told you, you get a point. But I'm telling you that Abraham is not a Jew. Okay, but how he can be a Jew if the Jews came long after from his children, from his seed? I get you. I understand. But I'm telling you that Abraham is not a Jew. Welcome to Islam. Do you remember that the chat I recorded and I posted in the internet? I asked the guy why why uh, <coughs> I have a question. Uh, you know, this is a Muslim website, convert to Islam something or ask Islam. So I, I asked why the prophet keeps the black stone. He said, because it's holy. I said, why it's holy? Because he said, because the prophet kissed it. <laughs> Why the prophet he kissed the black stone? Because it's holy. And why it's holy? Because he kissed it. Like what? Okay, hold on. Before he kissed it, was it holy or wasn't holy or was holy? Um, it was holy. Okay, so, and why the prophet kissed it? Because it's holy. And why it's holy? Because the prophet kissed it. Like, hello? I mean, why it's so hard to understand? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh. Any Muslim? Any Mohammedan? This is, this is nothing but a cult, a collection of cults. He took the name of Abraham from there. Actually, even he cannot, he cannot even say his name correctly. Look. They call him Ibrahim. Muhammad, sometimes he call him in the Quran, Ibrahim. Sometimes he call him Abraham. Is it Ibrahim? Is it Abraham? Who's a Muslim? I tell me what Abraham mean. They don't know. Until now, we got no Muslim trying to call me. So when a Muslim he says to us, as we saw in the comment of this uh, Muhammadan, he said that uh, uh, CB, uh, listen, you are ignorant. Abraham was not the first founder of the Kaaba. We'll say that to your God in the Quran, because the Quran says the only one who raised the Kaaba foundation was Abraham and his son. And if it is not Abraham, then why Allah did not mention to us the names of those who built the Kaaba? If it's not important, the names of those who built the Kaaba, why Allah, he mentioned Abraham building the Kaaba? I know this is too many questions for you. You cannot handle the truth that Santa Claus is real and your prophet is not. Do we have any Muslim? Uh, 
who is a Mohammedan here would like to come my friend light light if I make a videos in Arabic first of all let me tell you something Arab Arab are lazy people they will not copy my videos they will not share it and I will be talking to myself so stop telling me about making videos in Arabic because you yourself you'll be the last one who would download my video yeah yeah you know Arab people you know give them give them uh, give them recipe about how to make hummus they will watch it yeah. now do we have any Muslim and you can bring me those who you call them Arab let them call me and we can make a debate in Arabic no problem but get me something we can you know so we can make hummus <clears throat> Yeah, but who is going to uh, to put the subtitle? Me? I have no time even to answer email. Do you know how many emails I receive every day? I keep asking people stop emailing me, and they send me questions, which is the most weird questions ever. Like, why I cannot make a comment? Have you ever heard of something? Why I cannot make a comment? Yeah, this is what the Christian prince is busy about now. Why you cannot make a comment? Or an email, why are you still single? Who is a Muslim would like to call me and tell me why Allah, he built, he did not build the cube by himself and who is the one who built the cube? Anyone? Who is, a, who is the Muslim? When I, where, where is the Muslims? How Adam walked to the Kaaba? No, Adam, he did not walk to the Kaaba, my friend. Adam, obviously, when Allah, he sent him down to earth, he was, uh, he was, he have wings. Yeah. Yeah, this is what we said. I mean, how Adam, he was able to go all the way from Sri Lanka all the way to Saudi Arabia. You see, Sri Lanka is uh, uh an island by itself so Allah he sent him to Sri Lanka and, and 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 Adam is the first man in earth so he don't have a hammer he don't have a tool to build they don't know even how to build a ship or anything so how Adam he did all of this and why Allah sent him to Sri Lanka why he did not send him to, to Mecca I heard that at that time the only airport is available from heaven it was Sri Lanka and there is tons of videos made by Muslim sheikhs in the in YouTube about how Adam descended to Sri Lanka and now I know why I like tea because my father Adam he was a Sri Lanka man and I like Sri Lanka tea. And this is why I like to speak like Zakir Naik. Our grandfather is Adam. And he went into Sri Lanka. And our prophet Adam, he could not swim. And he wanted to go all the way to Mecca. At that time, there is no phone call. And there is no telephone. And there is no airplane. However, Allah provided him with submarine. When he was in Sri Lanka, a big whale came to him. And our prophet Adam, he jumped in the top of the whale. And he swam all the way and delivered him to Mecca. True story. You know, Islam is a wonderful religion as long as you don't ask questions. Just say, Alhamdulillah, MashaAllah. That's it. This is your duty. Whatever the sheikh say, say, I believe, true, brother, absolutely. Alhamdulillah. The second you ask a question, you will lose your head. Actually, the Quran says in chapter 5, verse 101, 
ask no questions verse 102 it says why it says because former generation asked the same questions and they lost their faith what yes brother absolutely brother you don't believe me brother here we go this is the verse in the front of you brother hmm? don't ask those things come on like what we can ask about a brother can I shave under my arm brother it is a halal this is a question to ask about God how God went to heaven he was on earth as the Quran says no don't ask how Allah look like he have a hand he had no you cannot ask how Allah have five fingers and why he have five fingers don't ask but can I shave under my arm sure I can answer you this is a very deep question brother you get the point it's very important brother to learn how to shave your underarm but what does have to do with God shave his arm or not what does have to do with I mean this is the questions and this is now what is important Where is God? Don't ask questions. Before your community asked such a questions and they became disbelievers, brother. Yeah, I remember once actually. Uh, hold on, somebody in that in the in the comment of uh, in that in the chat after I finished yesterday, he said that a Muslim. He said to him that Abdullah ibn Sarah, the one who left Islam, he did not die as a kafir he became a muslim again how he became a muslim again muhammad he conquered mecca abdullah ibn sarah who exposed muhammad he went to the house of his brother uthman ibn affan the caliphate and in the house of uthman he asked uthman for refuge protect me please muhammad here uthman he protected him and even though in the house of uthman muhammad wanted to kill this man and then by the help of Uthman, he let him live. And he became a Muslim again. It's too late. Go and read. This is written in Islamic books, not in my books. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? God who need a cube God who have holy stone if you kiss the black stone the prophet said if you kiss it or touch it uh, Allah forgive your sin the black stone and the Yemeni corner which is stones brought from Al Makkah temple and this is what the original name of the city of Mecca. It is coming from the Mecca table, which means the Kaaba is a counterfeit of the temple of Al Mecca, which is in Yemen. Go and search for it. Al Mecca temple. And look how easy to forgive sin in Islam. The Prophet said. Mm -hmm. If any one of you unable to earn a thousand good deeds, uh, one thousand, one check, brother, yes, brother. One of those present asked, How can one earn a thousand good deeds a day? Prophet said, By saying, Subhanallah, 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 a hundred times. Look at this deed. It's not by feeding the poor. It's not by doing something. No, Subhanallah, 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 Subhanallah. Can I speak? Can I talk to you? No, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Thank God that the one who practices Islam is not working in the Red Cross. The guy is dying, and the guy now is going to earn good deeds. Subhanallah, 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 Subhanallah. Thank God that the one who is answering the nine one one phone call is not a Muslim who will say Subhanallah. You know, you call, hello. There's a thief in my house. He have a gun. And the guy, Subhanallah, 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 Subhanallah. He's here. He's here. Did you hear me? Subhanallah, Subhanallah. I cannot answer you now because I have to finish the one hundred. Like, uh, come on, man. I have to stop and counting from zero now. Subhanallah. This is how you earn good deeds. This is how easy it is. 
And look at this. Abu Abdul Rahman. Why do I only see you touching the two corners? He said, I heard, I heard the messenger of Allah saying, touching them, erase the sin, brother. Like what? So all what I do now, I can go just the Kaaba and touch the black stone in the Yemeni corner and everything is gone. This is how easy it is. No detergent. Stones. By touching stone and you and the funny they claim that the, the Hindu are pagan, the Christians are pagan, the Jews are pagan, and Islam is the only religion is not pagan. Anyone? <clears throat> Hanifa is a believer. No, my friend, Hanifa is a as a kafir. Hanifa is an Aramaic word. You see, the ignorance of Muhammad is amazing. There's words, he took it from the Aramaic, you do not know what they mean. Hanifa, specifically, is a pagan person. And the funny the Quran says that this is a pure Arabic book. What is the Arabic pure book in the Quran? The word Quran itself is Aramaic. Now, do we have any Muslim who touched the black stone? Brother, how it feel when you touch the black stone and you kiss it? It feels so good, brother. Muhammad, he knew nothing about Abraham, except that even the name is not correct. <clears throat> he knew nothing about Jesus, even the name is not correct. You see, just to show you that Muhammad is nothing but a, a, a copy-paste, I will make a challenge in front of you, and all the Muslims who are listening. The Quran keeps saying, O oh, children of Israel, children of Israel, Starting from chapter 2, verse number 40 in the Quran. Question, who is Israel? <laughs> who, who is this guy, Israel? The Quran keeps saying, oh, children of Israel, oh, children of Israel. You know, copy, copy the word children of Israel and post it in your search engine, in any website, have in your language. You know, copy it and paste it. And you will see how many times the Quran repeats in children of Israel. Okay. But who is Israel? Beni, me, Beni is, a, is an Aramaic word, which means children. Beni is not an Arabic. This is all, you see, there is nothing. It's called Arabic language. Arabic is, a, a, you know, a collection of languages, you know, but the Aramaic have the, the biggest impact on it. So children of Israel. Okay. Shouldn't you tell us first who is Israel? Any Muslim can tell me if I am now a person who converted to Islam and the Quran keeps saying to me children of Israel How I will know who is this guy? Don't give me don't tell me Jacob Jacob. This is where where you get this name from It's from the Bible, right? Okay, the Quran mentioned Jacob and the Quran mentioned Israel, but never mentioned how Jacob became Israel <laughs> Why didn't call in Islamic call in show that our broadcast live my friend uh, Islamic Islamic show uh, live show they are fake I call here we go I have I have in YouTube you can search Christian Prince calling the Dean show they did not let me go through and the question why your scholar show don't call me I made tens of thousands of Muslims leave Islam shouldn't they call me I have my Skype open. Here we go. The question is for you. And here we go. You know, I'm here. Give me the Skype name of a sheikh you know. He is willing to talk to me. I will call him immediately, not tomorrow. What do you think, guys? No, no, not tomorrow. No. Give me any name of any Muslim who is willing to call me, speak to me. I will be the one who call him. Now. Stop crying. 
Where is your Mimi hijab? And where is this? Uh, what, all those kids, where are they? Here we go. I'm here every day. Where are they? I keep saying, who is a Muslim when I call me? I want you to do it yourself. You don't call me. Are you half uh, half Muslim? Are you Muslim to the knee, not to the waist? Call the live show. What live show? They are talking about how to eat ice cream. All your Islamic show is a joke. Al Karadawi, who is the biggest sheikh for the Muslim Brotherhood, he says, if not the war of apostate, no Muslim left. Go watch the video. We won the debate. It is in YouTube. If not, the war of apostate Islam is destroyed. No Muslim left. Go watch and love. <clears throat> Any Abdul? So far, how many times I want to say how many how any, any Muhammadan? You see, it is your duty, you Muslims, to call me and get me busted. Do you know how many Indonesians are leaving Islam because of me? My videos in Indonesia are going like crazy. If you look right now for my videos, which with this with the subtitle in Indonesian language, you will see. Hundreds of thousands of Indonesians sharing my videos. You should do something about it. So you should call me and show the Indonesian. If you can copy my video, I, I give you the permission, no problem. Copy my videos, add subtitle. But don't lie in the subtitle as you do always. Call me and get me busted. Who is Israel? And what Israel mean and how Israel his name is Israel is one of the names of Allah in your language is ill this person he belong to this God who is called ill do you have ill in your religion is it one of the names of Allah or the title of Allah how Jibreel is not Jibreel Allah because Jibreel <laughs> simply is a word and by the word God why Allah is using the names of Hebrew for all his angels anyone can tell me shouldn't we know why Why Israel? Why Mikhail? Is Mikhail an Arabic word Muslims? The answer no. Jibreel? No. Azrael? No. Israfi? Oh, don't talk about Israfil. This guy will do this this guy is scare me. Anyone knows what Muhammad said about Israfil? Anyone knows? Let me see if I can show you something in English. Just for the sake of education. Israfil brother is where Allah he put the tablet between his two eyebrows. What? Yes, brother. <clears throat> Let us see if we can find you that. The distance between the two eyebrows, I think we will not fight in English. The distance between the two eyebrows of the angel Israfil is 500 years distance, brother. <laughs> hey, brother, why this angel have eyebrows anyway, brother? Anyone? And why Allah even he have a tablet? I mean, I have a tablet for me. You see, the tablet of Allah, nobody can read it, not even the angels. That's why he put it between the two eyes of Israfil, so he will protect it. Like Israfil, like as a, uh, 
you get the clothes from the tablet like okay so i will take care i'm not going to touch it okay i'm not going to read he put it between the eyes of israfil are you sure oh, brother is that a true story brother yes brother i'm really convinced Somebody is saying, how many Muslims in Indonesia consider me as a liar? Well, you see, you can consider me wherever you want, but you have to prove it. The word the jail mean a liar, right? Okay. Name one thing I said. I did not show it in the screen, and I prove it. Correct, guys? So how you, how you can call me liar? Anything I say, I show it. I show it from their books. So if they are saying to me you are a liar, that means they are saying their prophet is a liar because the one who said that is their prophet, not me. This is not a scholar. This is a kid, you know, he used to sell falafel and fool, you know. All those kids are kids. <laughs> you know, listen, listen, kid. Don't come here and tell me why you don't call this guy and call this guy. What about you call this guy and tell him why you don't call me so we can laugh as long you know their names and they are your heroes why now now you call anyone you want you know one more time you say to me why you don't call this guy and this guy I will block you because you are just wasting my time my Skype is open and I'm waiting for your calls as simple as that Stop complaining. Stop sitting in my lap playing with my beard and you say to me why it is hairy. Be a man and let you, the one who you call them scholars, to call me. They are a bunch of kids. Hmm? Anyone? Any Muhammadan? Okay, well, it's time for me to block you. Take care. Obviously, you are wasting my time. I think this is you, who you call yourself uh, with that name. You are trying to advertise yourself, that's all. Because those people, nobody know them, unless they go around and they say, why well, you don't debate this guy, but this is him, the same guy. I remember once, there was a guy he was debating Sam Shamoon in a in a in a website <clears throat> and uh, I am trying to remember his name so anyway the guy he he paused something and supported Sam Shamoon he answered him and later the owner of the website they found that the same one who posed as Sam Shamoon is the same one who posed which is the Muslim because they can have their his they can see his IP so what the Muslim he did he claimed he created two accounts, one for Sam Shamoon and one for himself. <laughs> so Sam Shamoon posts something, and then the guy he go and he refutes Sam Shamoon, brother. <laughs> but both of them are the Muslim guy. Here you cannot do that. I'm here. Call me. Call me. Hello? And then everybody start laughing when they uh, saw the the website admin says that the both account been deleted because it was one account and it's a fraud. And supposedly he's getting Sam Shamoon busted. He, Sam Shamoon is there. Call him. Let us see how you can get him busted. Be my guest. The only way to win a debate against us is if you debate yourself like Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali, the miracle, the, ma the mathematical miracle of number 57. Okay, Shabir Ali, have you ever yourself ca counted those letters, <laughs> those words? <laughs> I made tons of videos says, hey, Abdul, when you are going to call me and get me busted, I want you to call me and show me the number 57 in that chapter. They never do, and they will never do. Hmm? Now, let us go to business. Who is the one we go back to zero? I mean, what's wrong with us? Look where we went. I mean, 
Why Allah did not call them by Arabic names? Any Muslim can answer this is a big question. I mean, why Allah did not call them? Look like your God, Allah is a Zionist. Anyone? Any two? Forget about anyone. Ah, I know why they are not calling me because I'm saying anyone. Uh, Muslims, in order to to uh, to go against you, they have to gank. Like they bring ten people around you, and then they are heroes. One by himself, he is a coward. Okay, any ten? Any twenty? Any fifty? Any one thousand? Take beer. Okay, we took a beer. Still, there's no answer. No answer. Allah, how Allah can be God? And Allah, He wrote, guys, do you remember? Do you remember that Adam, when He left up His head, He saw the throne of Allah and He saw the name of Muhammad and the Shahada on Allah's throne? Muslims, is that true? Is the story of your Prophet? That when Adam he asked Allah for forgiveness for the sake of Muhammad, is that a true story? Who is a Muhammad and want to say I'm lying? Question How Adam he learned Arabic? <laughs> when Arabic does not exist yet. Adam he lived up to the sky and he, he saw the Shahada, he saw the name of the Prophet. Where he went to school, this Adam? Adam? Let us ask the question to Brother Zach and I. Hey, brother and sister, the person his name is the Christian prince, he's a big fat liar. And I'm going to prove it for you. He asked question, how Prophet Adam beat upon him? He speak Arabic. First of all, Allah inspired Prophet Adam to read Arabic at that moment. So when Prophet Adam, he look up, he don't speak Arabic, absolutely. It was the miracle of Allah. He opened his eyes and he started saying, Muhammad Rasulullah. And this is how Allah he taught Adam Arabic, brother. I'm really convinced. By the way, Zakir Naik did not say that. I just made it up. You know, everything you hear about Zakir, most of it, I just like for fun, for comedy. <laughs> Don't take it serious. The only thing I say about Zakir Naik is it true? He said that is when they ask him, <clears throat> do you remember the video? It's there in the internet. A, a woman, she asked him, why in Islam there's no woman, she's a prophet. So he said, a brother sister, the sister, they ask you a question. Why in Islam there's no woman, he's a prophet. And this is true. And I agree with her. In Islam, there is no woman, he's a prophet. And the reason for that, if a woman, he became a prophet, he had to lead the congregation. And it's read the congregation, he had to do to do and we do. And then yet he had to bend over. And if they went over, that would disturb the believer. What? If she bend over, that will disturb the believers. So the reason, according to Zakir Naik, there is no woman is a prophet in Islam is because of her ass is beautiful. I mean, how they for, they will forget about Allah, they will forget about Muhammad, about the Quran, about Jibreel, because now in front of them there's a beautiful ass. May Allah ask you. And the Muslim like, wow, brother, what an answer. W what? I mean, all the Muslim like, wow, like they are, what's wrong with you people? Are you taking hashish? This guy, he just humiliated your God. He just said that if you see a beautiful ass in the front of you, you cannot see God. You forget about God, all of you. And this is the reason women, she cannot be a prophet. 
actually I can support that in the hadith even a Muslim man his ass can be a problem there's a hadith where a bunch of Muslims came to the caliphate and they told him that there is a, <coughs> a homo he uh, he became the Imam on them I went to Uthman blah 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 okay and they said uh, that a leader of fitna complain about what we are led salat prayer by a leader of fitna trials and afflictions look at those words man this guy is making a trial in your head why and afflictions I have afflictions in my head now why how what happened and we are afraid of being sinful in following him like what Uthman said a salat the prayer is the best deed so when people do good deed do the same as they do and then they said as Zohri said <laughs> in our opinion one should not offer salat behind a feminine person unless there is no alternative so look what happened here they are saying to us if they have a guy who is a uh, gay and he is a praying in the front of them the Muslim they will fail into a trial and afflictions well how you are going to be tempted by the ass of a man unless you are a gay yourself correct I mean obviously the one who complained himself is a gay because how in the world let us say the guy is a gay no okay no problem and he is a praying in front of you okay so why you are tempted and how you can be tempted and the caliphate he said it's okay it's okay get go get tempted <laughs> and what this is Sahihul Bukhari am I lying liar liar a Christian prince liar here we go Sahihul Bukhari I like you Sahihul Bukhari thank you very much this is why Erdogan he wanted to burn all those books because they are getting Islam busted <clears throat> anyway after being here for a couple of hours I'm losing my voice look like we will not get any Muslim uh, to call us you know and uh, I'm afraid that Muslims are tempted right now maybe there's somebody there ah and this is why they are busy from calling me there is an effeminate person you know uh, maybe is disturbing them otherwise they can answer me easy but because of the effeminate person they cannot answer me mm -hmm. what a religion what a religion you know you know this hadith remind me of a, of a, a funny story that there's a there's a girl she was a teenage and she was late from school so when she came home her mother she said where you been why you are late you are one hour late where you been the girl she said mom it's not my fault the guy who was walking behind me he was so slow what like what 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 the guy who was behind you is so slow and this is the Muslims here They are blaming the guy, not themselves. I mean, what she can do, she has to slow down because the guy is so slow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway, guys, I love you all. Uh, trust me, my friend, there is no better than the Lord, the Messiah. His name is a glory. His word is wisdom. And his act is holy. That is my Lord. When even we debate with Muslims, we are debating about if the Messiah is God or not. This is how holy the Messiah he is. This is how amazing he is. We are not debating if the Messiah is good or not. We are not debating if the Messiah was a bad person or not. We are not debating if the Messiah was a liar or not. We are debating if the Messiah is God or not. That because how good he is, because of the high quality he has to the point, is he God or not? So do you see what we have? And do you see what they have? 
When we speak about the Messiah, we are speaking about his holiness, his amazing teaching, his beloved act, his sacrifice, his gifts, his miracles, his teaching. The one who said 2,000 years ago, love your enemy. And not even in one billion year from now, a human being, he will come to say such a statement, love your enemy. My friend, our king is the king of kings, the Lord of lords, God almighty himself, the Messiah, the Christ, who his name is unique. His name is powerful who no grave can take him and hold him and no power can stop him and no death can conquer him. That is our Lord. So why they are worshiping a false God, kissing black stones, following false rituals, believing in a false God. We are following the true Messiah who is right now, even in the cult of Islam, living in heaven. So the Messiah is the living word, the walking, talking word of God, the living word of God, God himself who came to the earth. He is our judge. He is our leader. He is our guidance. He is our wisdom. And he is our savior. I feel sorry for you who follow Muhammad. I feel sorry for you for accepting Muhammad. Because Muhammad himself, he will need asking for forgiveness from the Messiah. But then it's going to be so late. And the Messiah will say to him, depart from me, Muhammad the liar. Didn't you hear? Didn't you hear my words? Who is the liar? The one who denied the father and the son, and you deny both. Who is the Antichrist? Time will come, and Muhammad will pay and no mercy for the devil and his lies. Thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. And don't forget to download the video as soon as it is ready because we will not keep it live on air. Take care.